how much percent change so it only specifies that either there will be increase in demand or there will be decrease in demand so law of demand does not indicate the extent to which there will be change in demand it only indicates the change either increase or decrease the concept of electricity elasticity of demand it measures the percentage change in quantity demanded as a result of either change in price of that commodity called price elasticity of demand or due to change in income called income elasticity of demand or change in price of other commodity called cross elasticity of demand so elasticity of demand it makes the measurement of percentage change in quantity demanded due to various factors including price of the commodity or change in income or change in price so in elasticity of demand we are able to find the extent the degree of change in demand so in case of law of demand it only indicates that either there is increase or there is decrease and elasticity of demand is a concept which lets us know the percentage change the quantum of change the extent of change so if this there is change due to price of the commodity that is called price elasticity of demand if change is on account of change in income then it is called income elasticity of demand if there is change in price of other commodity which is related to that commodity so that is called cross elasticity of demand now measurement of elasticity of demand how do we calculate the elasticity how do we measure so there are different methods to calculate elasticity of demand so these methods are number 1 total revenue or total outlay method number 2 proportionate of percentage change method and number 3 point method so total revenue or total outlay method so here the elasticity is calculated by measuring effect on total expenditure due to change in price so measurement is done on the basis of change in total expenditure expenditure due to change in price of the commodity in proportionate of percentage method so it is calculated as a percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price and in case of point method the calculation is made at a particular point of time at a particular point on the demand curve now let us see these methods in detail so first of all price elasticity of demand proportionate method so in proportionate method there are two types of strategies two type of approaches two type of methods one is called proportionate method and other one is called geometric method or point method so proportionate change in quantity demanded divided by proportionate change in price of the commodity so we can calculate the elasticity proportionate change in quantity demanded that is change in quantity divided by original quantity divided by proportionate change in price of the commodity so original price divided by change in price 
So we can also express it like this. Q1 that is original quantity minus Q2 that is change of quantity divided by original quantity. So this represents change in quantity and this represents original quantity multiplied by original price divided by change in price. So original price changed price. So the formula can be represented like this also. Change in quantity divided by original quantity into original price divided by change in price. So we can make calculation also by following the following example. Calculate elasticity of demand. So let us follow the formula. Change